Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. Today I am going to be reviewing a book that I picked up on a whim and I really really enjoyed and I'm glad that I did and that is Embroidery the Art of Yoshioka. So this was in the new art section of my library, well the new section of my library and it is an art book and I was very intrigued and interested just by the cover. I decided to pick it up. I actually wasn't supposed to be taking any new books out of the library. I was just there to get my holds and leave on time because I had plenty of books at home but I did not do that because it's me. I saw this and I'm very glad that I broke my personal rule because this was a very enjoyable book. So let's talk embroidery, the art of Yoshioka. The first thing to know about this book is it is primarily in Japanese. Actually the text is entirely in Japanese, more or less entirely in Japanese. So there are some parts where it is more text heavy but the variety of it is just the artist's work. So while the book is in Japanese you do not need just Japanese to, or you do not need to read Japanese to really understand or at least appreciate the art. That's what I mean to say. But that is something to know if you do not read Japanese or understand Japanese. I do not read or understand any Japanese. So I was not able to read the text. I know there are some like phone apps or something you can do where you hold it over and it translates. I didn't do that. I just decided to leave that be and enjoy the beautiful artwork. I'm sure I'm missing some context because I haven't read the text, but that is important to note if you get this and you wonder why it's not in English, um, it's in Japanese. Don't say I didn't warn you. But I do not think the text is necessary for you to enjoy this book if you speak English or if you speak another language even. Um, the text is not necessary because the real focus and the real highlight of this book is the author's work. I'm actually not familiar with uh, Yoshioka. Well now I'm a little familiar with his or her works because I've read this book but I had not heard of them before and I am glad that I picked this up because their work is beautiful. I feel like they are an incredibly talented artist and each page in here is just filled with absolutely beautiful work. In fact, this video could just be me not talking and me showing the absolutely gorgeous work that this author, it's not our author, artist has done. Here's an example of some Japanese text that I do not understand unfortunately, but just beautiful, beautiful artwork. This is arranged in collections. Um, he has some that are labeled like commercial work. He has some that seem to be associated with the series. Some, I believe he has a part called like personal works, personal works. Um, so there is some organization to this. So it appears he is making, he or she is making their living from an artist as being an artist. And that is a net positive for the world, I think. I think the best way to enjoy this book, I really like this one, there's like the gems and bowls in front of her. I think the real way to enjoy this book is to make sure you have plenty of time to sit down and enjoy each piece. I feel like this is the kind of book that you want to purchase because it's one you're going to want to go back to and refer to and look at these art pieces again and again. This is so pretty. I think I'm going to put this on my wish list maybe for Christmas because I really want to own this book. I want to go through this book and again and again and really look at and appreciate each piece in this book. Again, this really didn't need any commentary from me. The work speaks for itself. It's fabulous. And I think everyone should read this book, get this book, read this book, try this book out. There is an interesting part in the back where he talks about, there's a part in English. Um, it just says how to draw cover illustrations. But unfortunately, again, the entire text is in Japanese. So if you would like to understand this part, maybe get a way to translate this, or if you speak or can read Japanese, that would be also another way to understand this. I feel like there was a lot of interesting information here that I would love to read, but unfortunately, again, it is in a language that I do not understand. But that's really the only part that you're really um, unable to access if you do not read Japanese. The rest of it is just this fabulous artwork that I think everyone should be able to look at and enjoy. I did, when reading this, feel a lot of similarity with another book, another artist's pieces of work that I've read in a book form. I don't know how else to describe it before, and that is Janet Fish, which is very odd because I feel like Janet Fish's style is very, very different from Yoshioka's style. The style is different, but I feel like that play between color and light is still there in a way that just made me feel like they were connected in my brain just a little bit. Not connected in like they even know each other exists, but there was some similarities that I was seeing between the two pieces that I just happened to notice. That was just something that I noticed. I do have a review of a book on art by Janet Fish on my channel. So if you're looking for that, or if you want to see if you see those similarities, you can check out that video. 
but otherwise I really recommend everyone pick up a copy of this book and read it. When I added it to my um, like Goodreads account I saw that only three other people had rated it which means in my opinion it's not getting the love it deserves. I feel like so many people would be able to read and appreciate and enjoy this artist's work and I think everyone should give it a read. If you're familiar with this artist or have any thoughts on this book please leave it in the comments down below. I love to hear it. Otherwise thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.